Beyond this river lies the territory of the Moro Islamic Liberation Front. These Moro fighters are taking us to their stronghold, known to the locals as Camp Bedr. While things may seem calm now, for decades this area was a war zone. Having thought of every foreign invader since the days of Spanish colonial rule, the Moros have built a feared reputation of resisting outsiders. That even applied to the authorities in Manila, a thousand kilometers away. After five decades of fighting and more than 100,000 dead, the Philippine government is looking not to repeat past mistakes. And after a series of peace talks and a recent landmark referendum, the process of establishing an autonomous region called Bansamoro is gaining steam. But to have any sort of lasting peace, the situation on the ground needs to improve. For Nuri Ali Ibrahim, who lost a brother in the fighting, that's the most crucial thing. What we want is peace. It seems that the war is over. We want to live in a peaceful community where we can get on with our work. Our children need a proper education so they can get proper jobs. But for that to happen, the region's insurgents have to be disarmed. Finding ways to do that has haunted past attempts at lasting peace. These are fighters with the Moro Islamic Liberation Front. They were born during the five decade long war. But now they will be among an estimated 30,000 fighters who will give up their weapons. Some of them will apply for the new security forces set up in a peace agreement for the region. But for most of them, providing for their families is going to be the next battle. To keep the peace, the MILF chairman and the chief minister of the Bangsamoro regional government, Al-Hajj Murad Ibrahim, travels frequently to the capital, Manila. It was during one of these trips that we had the chance to ask about his hopes for the future. So, you know, we need to rebuild and we need to promote the uh, economy. Uh, we need to uh, open opportunities for people to to have a good life and uh, also we are inviting foreign investors economically untapped due to decades of conflict the philippine government is optimistic that the bangsamoro autonomous region will be able to create an economy that can absorb thousands of former rebels agriculture and tourism are sectors high on the list for local officials. Actually, not only farming relying on the developing our income in the Bangsamoro areas. Uh, we, uh, the, the Bangsamoro government, uh, going to develop the fishing uh, activities as source of our income, especially on the uh, tuna and other fish that uh, like uh, shrimp and others uh, very uh, potential in our area. And Bangsamoro's tropical beauty could become a new realm for tourism. The rebel returnees and the combatants, how are, how are we going to accommodate them in our society? Actually, Muslim Mindanao is actually very rich when it comes to natural resources and natural endowment. So uh, oh, the only thing that we need to do is really to tap them. Camp Abu Bakr as Sadiq wants a safe haven for insurgents battling the Philippine military is now looking to attract holidayers searching for the perfect getaway. If all goes to plan, many former rebels will be providing security in the area instead of battling the government. John Hasasu, Straight Talk.